Technology is constantly changing and evolving, which makes staying on top of the industry an innovation in itself. With me is Simon Chen, CEO of electronics conglomerate New Kinpo Group and its newly founded 3D printing brand XYZ Printing to talk about the new world of electronics. Well, Simon, you're the world's leading manufacturer of calculators, printers, hard drives, microchips, etc. How do you stay on top of the latest innovations? It's come from our core technology of the different products. For example, 3D printers come from our printing backgrounds of the printers, right? So we have been studying the technology from time to time. What is the next technology will be? Uh, happening in three or five years, ten years. How has developing smart technology impacted your business? It's quite a different though, because hard disk drive they have uh, their own industry, like dominated by three big guys, and the other technology, like for example, of the noble PC, also is almost like mature technology. So people is still using the noble PC, but it's declined three percent or five percent per year. But three D print and robotic, we think, is another new technology. It's totally different from the concept of the, the current so-called PC-dominated technology. So 3D printing, you've actually been developing this for the past two years, but what sort of stage are we at now and how do you see it evolving in the future? If you consider 3D printers, I always take an example, almost like 20 or 30 years ago, the PC just born, or the third, two, uh, 20 or 30 years ago, people started using the paper printers. So a lot of possibilities still involving in, in, in uh, 3D printer. 3D printer is one of the most possible technology can take over the whole industry. Uh, President Obama says 3D printer is a third industrial revolution. 3D printer can change the people's business models. The products right now we are using in UK, very likely probably produced in Asia and designing someone, some company in Asia, they're buying the material from some uh, material supplier in Asia and ship the material to one uh, factory doing manufacturing. They ship to UK with the importer, retailer and sell it. But 3D printer is possible to take over whole supply chains. I've also heard that 3D printing is starting to break into the medical and even food industries. Yes. How do you see this evolving? So this is still early stage for the food industry. Uh, but take uh, the bio 3D printer as example. The 3D printer right now can be used for the dentist's use, can be used for the, bo the people's bone, can be used for in the future for the skin's use. But when it comes to environmental issues, is there anything to watch out for there when it comes to 3D printers in terms of perhaps waste? In some material, yes, uh, is a current concern. But more and more material we use is uh, environmental friendly. For example, we launched our uh, Da Vinci Junior's uh, 3D printer this month in UK. Only can use a POA filaments, which means a biodegradable plastic. Well, you actually have offices in Asia and also the United States, the West. So how does sort of the markets differ between the Western and the Eastern countries? Most of the users, they have uh, some experience of the DIY experience. So most of handy people, they use it. So they from the engineer background, techie people, and the people familiar with the DIY concept. They buy the 3D printer, then they start using. But in Asia, most of dreaming from probably in school, the kids learning from the school, because the government in Asia, like China and Taiwan, the government they have a project to subsidize the school to buy the 3D printers and to incorporate the 3D printer into the curriculum of the school. So the kids in, in Taiwan, in China, are getting more and more familiar with the 3D printer concept. Well, I've seen 3D printers in practice, and they've usually, the ones I've seen, have been making these little sort of plastic molds, yes. that sort of thing. Yes. So how can a 3D printer really impact society? Well, currently, yes, you will see the 3D printer prints the plastic you are using, right? But for, for the engineer people or designer people, right, this is a tremendous help tool for them, because in the past, the, the, the 3D design they can see only from the screen or monitors. They cannot just touch it. But from now, the engineer or the designer, they can just print out whatever they design and can touch it with a, with a very quick uh, mock-up samples. Are there any IP security issues when it comes to 3D printing? This is a couple kind of IP uh, protections. First of all, the essential IP of the 3D printers expired two or three years ago. So a company like us or the other company come into the market with a more innovation design. So in our company alone, we're already filing about 250 different IP. But however, for application of the 3D printers by itself, yes, they have some concern about the IP protections because you can use a 3D scanner to, to scan some people's uh, the design artwork 
and we, uh, we duplicate it. Obviously, China and Taiwan are yes. known for its manufacturing industries. Yes. But when it comes to sort of innovation and developing new technologies, is this sort of imported or do you have sort of really good people on the ground? Actually, the China government also feel because the labor cost in China is getting higher and higher, the younger generation of people may not be interested in going to the factory for work. That's why the China government encouraged the 3D printer to incorporate in, in two uh, perspectives. One perspective is 3D printer used for the manufacturing process. So uh, if the small volumes products or something you are too expensive to, to cut the moldings, they use the 3D printers. And the other perspective of the 3D printers encourage the younger generation people use your 3D printer to become the makers. So the maker concept from the US to China now is because the younger generation people very, very good at probably doing the internet searching, you know, cloud computing, whatever. They are not probably not going to the factory to work. But they can use their creativities by PC or 3D printers to selling their creativity artworks in the internet. So they can have a job they don't, they don't need to search in the job in the factories. So finally, technology-wise, how do you envisage the world in 10 years' time? Everybody have a one 3D printer at home, at office. Not only for that, actually, a little bit if everybody's office and home will have a one robotic at your office and home. And also, car is the auto navigation car. You no need to have a, a self-driving car. Mm -hmm.